Ideally, you have no more than two to three ads running inside a single ad group. And those particular ads, as soon as you see one that's actually performing really well, that becomes the new control and you pause the others out and you add a new test into the ad group. So you can start to iteratively increase the performance of that ad group as a whole by testing and, and optimizing for performance. A lot of the time we'll log into someone's Google Ads account and we'll be reviewing their ads in there and we'll see that they have an ad group with something like seven different ads running in it, where there are all these different ads that have been left on for you know a year, two years, or perhaps longer. And in some cases, these ads are not actually very different, so there's no real test taking place, right? So if all the ads have got similar headlines and similar offers, as these ads do here, what real test are we actually running and how are we gonna start moving the needle when it comes to ad performance? You can see in this ad group here that some of these ads have a much better click-through rate than others. The one at the top, for example, has a 15% click-through rate. Some of these ads also have a much better conversion rate and cost per conversion than others. You can see the second ad here has a $77 cost per conversion. Four down has a $66 cost per conversion. So immediately you could start to improve the performance of your campaigns if you simply start pausing out ads that aren't doing as well and focusing more spend on the ads that are. We have generated over $50 million in revenue for our clients using Performance Max campaigns, we decided we're going to download our knowledge of Performance Max campaigns into a free, easy, practical course and just give it away to the community. Go grab this free course and I'll see you inside.